Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Chapter 12. Now, from what I looked, the chapter is fairly short from what I've seen on the internet. I haven't watched anything, but I just like to know what my landmark, well, not like landmarks, but my objectives are. Since I last had this dream, I reached out for a piece of scrap metal. And then I fell into the ground. Was I... Was I... Dreaming? Uh. Vera! What's that? Fiora. <sighs> Fiora. She's still breathing. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. She needs water. Hopefully we'll get reunited soon. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh oh, I can't believe it. My first kiss. You do remember me, Fiora. Of course I do, Shulk. I never forgot you or the others. Then... why? Because... 
because I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? When it happened, when Colony 9 was attacked by the Mekon. claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound, no light, no pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And it felt like there was someone inside me. Someone else? The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except I had no control over my body and I couldn't talk. And that's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. But... the person inside you... Do you know who it was? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. <laughs> or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped. Hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. I, I guess. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um. Shulk, I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body, but I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egil, she knew what I wanted to do and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Mm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's going to be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Sharla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're going to like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's going to separate us now. Come on, let's start searching. Okay. We're both fifty one.
Well, at least we found Fiora. I just want to see something. Can can I make a sexy ass? What? So apparently I can't make a sexy like, um, what's your name, Mal Malaya, Malio. I don't, I don't really want to fight anyone until I find what I'm looking for. Unless I have to fight. Shulk. Fiora. What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. I wonder what happened after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mekon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk, can't you sleep? Sorry, did I wake you? No, it's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks, but I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat, even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <laughs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body, so I should live here on Mekonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. 
Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Uh. Mekho! No! Not now! Shunk! Let me... Fiora! Right. Come on, Manana. Don't let me down. The Manado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Manado's light! I can do this! The Monado. It worked, but I feel worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? No! We're surrounded! You're up, then. Sharla! What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me, back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Ryan I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the Colony. Thinking about it, I realised they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defence Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all seems so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. 
I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. That's the Rhine I know. Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy, Gado? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Alright, let's change equipment. They're not supposed to fall down. Uh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Thanks to you. Ryan! Ryan, it's you! Fiora! She remembers us! Yeah, she's been through a lot. I can see. Find Dunbar. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry when no one's watching. Yep. 
He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. No, I don't believe it. Take it easy. I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know. <laughs> I'm not here to protect you anymore. You are here for something. Oh dear God. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get. You ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that God. undependable before? Take it as a compliment. <laughs> ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Of course yeah. I do. Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> oh, that's probably the funniest this story's ever gotten, man. Actually, I kind of want to see. No. Kind of want to see. <clears throat> Fiora. In action. See how good she does. Oops. I completely missed it. What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sound. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! rest now Ricky not keep going hmm well we can't have that can we we'll rest here before going any further Melia do you need to rest I am fine good break time Thank you. 
Hmm. What's this? Kill upon Ricky, a big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish taste yum yum. Ah, dun dun eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. Oh, Ricky very tired. But Ricky very hungry too. <laughs> How considerate of you. Oh, Ricky not understand Dun Dun. <laughs> Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason you ask. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky, glad dun dun like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. Millie is tired, but Ricky tired too. And dun dun not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear dun dun story. Ricky listen carefully. For Ricky is the hero bond. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yay! Ricky, listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun take care of them. Excuse <coughs> me. Dundun watch over Shulk. Dundun watch over Fiora. That is all a Daddy Pond can do. Ah, Ricky make mistake. Dundun not Daddy Pond. <laughs> I am her older brother. <laughs> but just like Daddy Pond, watching over family. Same watch over. Dundun do what he must. Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little Pond. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little Pond. Ricky know some things. Ricky know some things. I had you all wrong. <laughs> it doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone safe! Everyone strong! Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here! Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. Ah. I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. A village in a place like this. Malia! Shulk! Guys! 
You're all right! Oh, yeah! And... We found Fiora. Dunban! Fiora? Do you... remember me? Mm -hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Shook, is that your childhood friend? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place, anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The people of Mekonis. Machina? You mean... machine people? You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. From, from what I've seen... Let's see... This chapter is already almost over. sense we are and in another we are not it is a fact that the weapons you call the mechon were created by our civilization however we were born from the mechonis by your understanding it would be correct to say that we are the same as mechon a form of mechanical life born of the mechonis is that correct from our perspective you are forms of organic life born of the bionis life born of the mechonis so there is life here just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought, you were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. I will take her to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. 
Shulk. I'm... Fiora. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monaga? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although unfortunately we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know it? He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He's my son. Your son? Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil. Wow. Easy chapter. <laughs> easy, easy, easy chapter. chapter. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.